Hey guys, it's Brooke here from The Vintage Gardener. Welcome back to my channel. So I know in the last video I posted, I said that the Saturday video was going to be about a garden project, and it's not. Uh, when I actually started looking through my footage, I realized that between June 3rd, which is when the gar uh, Morristown Garden Tours were, and the next video, there was a, a number of days that had passed. Um, I, If I remember correctly, actually, I know why I didn't do too much filming because I wasn't really in the garden that much. Um, I took some time off from work. So as is typical, you kind of have to do all this work. Well, at least in the legal field, uh, I had to do a lot of work to take care of everything that was going to come up while I was gone. And so I wasn't gardening because I was working longer hours to make up for the fact that I was going to take off a few days. So anyway, the reason I took off from a few days is because I participated in an Instagram gardener meetup. Um, so, you know, one thing that's really interesting about social media is, you know, we kind of get a very small snippet a look uh, like a snippet look into other people's lives and for me because my Instagram is about gardening and I follow other gardens I'm really just seeing what's going on in people's gardens now sometimes people do let you know a little bit of their personal life does make it you know onto their account uh, but for the most part it's very it, it, it's it's a, tr a truncated view of people's lives let's put it that way uh, but you know what happens you keep up with everybody you know what what they're doing you know what projects they're doing what plants they're um they're, they're doing if there's sometimes you know if there's major milestone events in people's lives for example nikki the broadway gardener gardener who is getting married today september 15th and you know so you kind of you feel like you know people but the really weird thing is is that typically you don't actually meet these people. And it always kind of, you know, when I have to, when I step back and I'm always going, wow, you know what? I'm very vested in these people <laughs> and their lives and their gardeners and I've never actually met them. So uh, the first Instagram gardener that I met was Jen from Forever Blooms uh, with Jennifer. You guys will remember that when um, I went to buy my fountain, she went with me. Uh, Jen and I hang out periodically. We're both from South Jersey. We're both attorneys. And as a matter of fact, uh, Jen went and did um, the member garden tour with me for the Hardy Plant Society. So <clears throat> then the next person I met was Brad <laughs> and Yulia. And I met them at the flower show this past year. Um, and I think you guys have probably already seen that video. Uh, but anyway, last year around this time, Brad had um, had told me, oh yeah, we want to do something like a, a gardener's meetup in the Philly area. As you guys know, there's a lot of gardens in this area. And of course I was game because, you know, I visit a lot of gardens in this area. Uh, so the plan at that point was to visit Chanticleer Longwood and Mount Cuba, which once again, I was down for that. Um, so... I think the event at first there was like at least like 30 people in this group. And of course, over the nine months, you know, life circumstances change, people's jobs, situations change. And so at the end of the day, I think it ended up being like eight or nine of us who actually went. So it was myself, uh, Nikki, the uh, Broadway gardener, um, Candace from the Cappuccina Gardenista, uh, Stephanie from Hooked and Rooted, Aaron from My Iowa Garden, uh, Marie from Parsons Peonies, and then let's see, Morgan from Morgan Home and Garden, and let's see, Josh from Josh's Garden, and his boyfriend, Devin. And I hope I did not miss anybody. <laughs> and if I did, I'm sorry. Um, so that's who it ended up. And then, you know, that was, you know, it was, pro you know, what? for garden tours, for a bunch of, um, hardcore plant enthusiasts that was probably that was actually probably a really good size group because the thing is you know I visited these gardens and I visited these gardens and gone through these gardens and you know like a matter of hours because I'm by myself but when you're going through a garden with people who are as hardcore into gardening as you are you're gonna stop you're gonna look at all the flowers you're gonna discuss things and so um some of the trips I'm like, oh, we can do this in four hours. Yeah, we didn't do it in four hours <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, so anyway, the first one up is Chanticleer. Uh, so that was the first garden we visited. So that's where we were all meeting up. And so it was just kind of funny actually, you know, seeing, you know, because I see all these people in pictures and videos and whatnot, but actually seeing them in real life. Um, so 
there was a lot of talking. We moved through the garden very slowly. Um, and it was kind of funny because we'd been there for a while. And because I'd already, I'd been there before, I was trying to get everybody to kind of move because I'm like, because unfortunately with Chanticleer, there's no food place. It's not like Longwood where if you get hungry, you can go get something from the cafeteria. There's no food places in Chanticleer. So basically, unless you brought a picnic lunch, you can't kind of like go and come back. So um, I remember, I forgot who it was. I think Maria was like, oh, well, we've seen half of it, haven't we? And I was like, no, we haven't seen a tenth of this yet. So I think we ended up being there till like 3 p.m. And then... Um, I know Maureen, Aaron, Stephanie, and Morgan um, had plans that night, but uh, myself, Nikki, Candace, and uh, Devin and Josh, who I start, I refer to as the boys because it came up during the conversation. Like Josh was like, "Oh, my mom's your age," and I'm like, "Whoa!" <laughs> because Josh is a it's a grown man, and I'm just like, "Holy cow!" <laughs> I can't believe it. I was like, man, I guess I put off the motherhood thing a little late. But um, anyway, we went to a restaurant in, um, was it Media or Wayne or some, somewhere out there? It was really, really good. I think it was called like the Blue Elephant and we had a really, really good time. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys those clips. Um, you're going to see everybody kind of walking around. Um, there's too many conversations going on, but we just had a really, really fun time. And it was really nice sh getting to show people, um, you know, gardens I had gotten to visit. So that video is up. And then, um, the next day we were supposed to go to Longwood. We had the, um, the, the Canadian fires, they, they shut down a bunch of things. We went to the Morris Arboretum, but that'll be on uh, tomorrow's video. So anyway, guys, uh, buckle up, get ready, and uh, let's tour Chanticleer, and you get to see your uh, the who's who of the Instagram gardening world. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know any of those that come off that scientific name. I know some of the scientists. I don't know. Um, how long is it before you said about an hour? About an hour. Yeah, um, it was supposed to be a very easy trip, which it kind of was. I'm being dramatic, but I didn't go to like later in the season, they'll get they'll cover. Like, when do you come? When, when, the, you come? when I came last year, it was probably August, uh, okay. and so, so everything was very filled in at that point. So Look at this campanula. <gasps> I need to work on. I have not. That is so pretty. And that looks like a crusted lily. It's like a little moon garden. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Are these spreading or did they. So, yeah, tomorrow is going to be really. Nice weather. It's going to be really nice. I really want to find out what that really big allium is because I would like to get one for my yard. It has adds a lot of nice texture after it's bloomed. I wonder if it's can have more. I mean, in the, but that's this is kind of a shady spot. It is. That's why I'm I'm starting to second guess all of the shade yes. and sun tags. Well, maybe it's probably. Well, when I came later in the season last year, it was a lot more sunnier here. So I don't know if this is maybe it's more partial shade. Okay. And not to mention the thing is, like you know, with sun, like full sun is considered six hours. Right. So you know, 
this may be on the lower. Do we think this is at last? Oh, oh I don't know. But also, this is making me feel a lot better about my roses. Oh. Why, what's wrong with your roses, Nikki? They're always, they have, they ones like I got from the Antique Rose Emporium. And they actually perform, in terms of disease resistance, they actually perform really, really well. Yeah. I do, I, I'm starting to, I love David Osh roses, but I'm also watching him because I have four, f five or six of them at this point, and I think two of them are golden. Well, you know. Oh my gosh, girlfriend I'm is ready doing. I'm and I now am definitely gonna take a look at these Jane Austen roses because oh, I Yes, must. that was the thing. Oh, I know. That is so pretty. Oh, well, Misha, oh my gosh, I'm like, she hired Is that that's Rose Campion, right? Yes. I haven't seen white. Yeah, that's yeah, just by the Yeah. Okay. Do you have any of the wild ginger? I want to get that in mine. No, I don't have any. Oh. It's very slow growing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wait, what is this? Is this a rose over here? I think yeah. it's just like a... Yeah, like... Drift rose. I think it has the beach, you know? Hmm. It has a very light fragrance. <laughs> hey, I'm in the tennis court garden. Uh, this year, well, we're, er, this is very early because last year they had a lot of zinnias and that sort of thing. Um, hold on a second. Ooh. So, allium. There's the group back there. Oh, you know what? I see the guide because we want to know this one tree. So let me see, let's see what it is. I think, I think probably if I just get on a routine of just fertilizing them consistently at, a, at any point in year, I think it may not show up the next year, but the next year after. Because at this point, I'm, yeah, because I'm thinking. Okay, so we got a little meadow right here. And I think that's a, is that, that's a thistle Can't right there, right? This is a, yeah, the bachelor buttons. I don't know the official name. Cent Centauri. Oh, that is Centauria? Yeah, Centauria. Is okay. It? Oh, I, oh. Is. What variety is Oh, that? I thought that was a thistle. Wait, this one? No, that's a Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's definitely some, the butterfly. Yeah. Um, the, it's um, some variety of bachelor button. buttons. Bachelor button, yeah. okay. Because I have it. That's the one that's like pretty crazy like it. It does. It I have another crazy. variety too. It's really pretty. That's I heard they ruin your lives. I heard they ruin your lives. I, I love these poppies. They eat you alive. And if you're just like a bat, just having a Last year. Are you well, yeah, I'm not doing it that way uh, because uh, my self esteem won't let me. Oh, so but I have learned to ration my eating throughout the day, and I got down to like two meals a day, which were like a bite. Oh, I heard they like, ruin your brother? lives. I heard they ruin oh, your lives. I I love these poppies. Okay guys, so this is the side of the house and I have never, ooh, look at this. Oh, this is so nice. They've got rocking chairs and a, shade. 
that has got to be what 10 12 inches i mean i think from here to here is 12 like a right so yeah, that's huge oh my gosh and it's like well, a few weeks ago, I went to a private garden mm -hmm. for somebody in my horticultural group. They mm -hmm. had, a, they did a tour. Mm -hmm. um, it was like $5 a person. What is it? I'm like, all right. Where does she live? She lives in South Carolina. Okay, okay. It's a little bit okay. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, they don't have, we'll see this they have area. a different kind of garden. But see, yeah. Pennsylvania is considered to be the garden capital of America. Oh my gosh, look at all this delphinium and foxglove. That is so pretty together. Hi guys! Hi, how you do? We're oblivious. <laughs> it's okay. Look at those pink, um, poppies. poppies that is very pretty. Wow. Yeah, my poppies this year are getting off to a real slow start. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I, I, is this Penn State? I took a lot of, um... Where? This uh, dark colored... Actually, that doesn't look like that. You know what? I have a purple aster. It's called Lady in Black Aster. It kind of looks like that, but I don't know if that's what that is. It could be. I I mean, my I, the Lady in Black Aster I have has is actually tall and kind of looks like that. And it's actually about that same height right now, but I don't know. It could be something different. I'm going to buy, like, in every garden there has, like, meadow root. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I need height in the garden. On that, uh, it's the Orioles. Do you see the bird? Uh, what is it on? Yeah, um, on the one of the oh, my Okay, so we found everybody in our group. Ooh. Oh, they got peas and everything. Woo! Okay, there's lots of peas over here. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the sweet pea. Oh, Massachusetts. New Jersey. Wow. Wow. Island, Iowa, Ohio, New Jersey. Woo. Where else? Yeah. Delaware? No. So anyway, guys, as you can see, I'm filming with the next day, uh, but we had a great time. I think the telltale sign of whether or not you're enjoying people's company is whether or not you're chattering away like magpies. And we were doing that. There were so many conversations going. Um, actually, when I was kind of rewatching this, it was like, I was like, oh, like, you know what? That's right. We were talking about so many things over the course of that that day, it wasn't fun. So we ended up being there till three, around 3.30ish. And at that point, we were all hungry because we hadn't had lunch. Uh, and then we went and got something to eat. But anyway, 
this is just day one. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for day two. And don't forget, guys, I'm doing a live tomorrow night. I'm um, at 7 p.m. I'm going to be uh, doing a breakdown of the uh, more the Morristown um, garden tour uh, and talking about elements that I'm going to potentially be incorporating into my own garden. Uh, so that's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.